Hi everyone, um, I've been making a number of videos lately, um, but because I've been really busy I've sort of half started a lot and I haven't really finished them. Um, I've been doing a lot of actual like, protest work though, um, my usual activism work. Um, so even though you guys aren't seeing what I'm doing, I'm still very active. Um, I've been sick for about a week now with the flu and um, uh, which is unusual for me because I'm quite healthy so I um, don't get sick very easily but while it was actually I guess in a way um, advantageous because it forced me to stop sometimes and I was given this hammock about a, a few years ago for a birthday present and I never actually got around to putting it up and while I was sick the sun was just too inviting in the backyard and so I put it up and I haven't looked back since I've spent a lot of time in my hammock and which brings me to this um, one thing that being sick has caused me to do is to spend a little bit more time reading some things that I've been putting off not that I've been putting them off like I've been reading this book, um, Transformation of America. Um, it's by a lady called Kathy O'Brien, and um, uh, with her also her rescuer Mark Phillips. Um, Kathy O'Brien is a real life CIA mind control. Um, sex slave survivor um the reason I, I reading this book is is very hard because i'm such an empathetic person and i read perhaps a paragraph before i break down in absolute oh just devastated that this goes on in the world and i'll um i'll read the opening paragraph uh well kathy's opening statement um, now Kathy and Kathy was ritually sexually abused and programmed by the CIA from childhood. Uh, it began with her father, um, whose family um, uh, he 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 used her to um, make child pornography videos and her uncles and all sorts of terrible things. And then because of um, her, the trauma that happened from that she developed um, multiple personality disorder which made her a prime cam candidate for the MK Ultra um, experiments now I uh, so I'll read to you her opening statement my name is Kathleen Kathy O'Brien born 12th of the 4th 57 in Muskegon Michigan uh, I'm sorry if I've pronounced that wrong. Is it Michigan? <laughs> sorry. Um, I have prepared this book for your review and edification concerning a little known tool that our United States government is covertly, illegally and unconstitutionally using to implement the new world order, one world government. This well documented tool is a sophisticated and advanced form of behaviour modification brainwashing, most commonly known as mind control. My first-hand knowledge of this top-secret US government psychological warfare technique is drawn from my personal experience as a White House presidential model mind control slave. Much of the information enclosed herein has been corroborated and validated through brave and courageous clean members of the law enforcement, scientific and intelligence communities familiar with this case. These individuals' efforts helped me to understand and corroborate what happened after a lifetime of systematic physical and psychological tor torture, orchestrated to modify my behaviour through totally controlling my mind. Some of these courageous individuals are employed by the, the very system that controlled me and live in fear of losing their jobs, their families or their lives. They have gone as far as they dare towards publicly exposing this tool of the engineers of the New World Order, to no avail. 
This book is a grassroots effort to solicit and enlist the public and private support of human rights advocates, the recognised respected doers in America to expose this invisible personal and social menace. This can be done by well-organised cooperative citizens with a passion for justice who have expressed an interest in restoring our constitution and taking back America. She goes on to give her story in detail and the details of her story are beyond what anybody should endure and just thinking about some of those details breaks me down and she has only she has only touched the surface of the details she hasn't gone into actual detail for example when she describes being um, systematically tortured by uh, a senator bird um, she said his torture was so horrific that no human being should really survive and yet because of her multiple personality disorder and the way she was programmed to receive pain she survived more than any human could so today i logged on to youtube and saw this video a lot of profiting did go on why was it that a week before the atrocity of 9-11, the share price of United Airlines and American Airlines suddenly dropped and a lot of people put, put, put options on those shares and made a profit? Now what did they know the week before the event? Ladies and gentlemen, do not listen to this woman. Although she does want truth for all the victims, you don't need to believe in, in conspiracy theories. I'm very much happy we're going on YouTube. Thank you. I'm science. Thank you. 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 Thank It really blew my mind. When he first came back and he declared 9-11 wasn't an inside job, I thought perhaps, you know, he was trying to make some sort of uh, statement and he would come out and say, oh, I was just joking, I wanted to point out how naughty you truthers are in judging people, and you are, by the way, you're all very naughty for being so angry and judgmental. Although, I can understand it, especially when you are that anger and that judgement is directed at you constantly. I kept hoping that he would come back and, and eventually say, I was just joking, it, it really was an inside job, but it didn't happen. And the more videos I see, the more I see this arrogant person that I never saw before. Um, and when you look at, like, let me show you what the, the photo that was my desktop picture. It wasn't my desktop picture because I was in love with Charlie. It was his philosophy. And his philosophy that we should love everybody regardless of who, it, who they are, where they are, what they do. And, you know, even this love for the very police that attack him constantly. Now, in this picture, this particular police woman was being an absolute bitch. I'm sorry, but you were. You were an absolute bitch. And over the top, as all police officers have been trained to be. And Charlie notices a spider on her shirt. And he says to her, oh, you have a spider. And she goes, oh, spider. I hate spiders. Get it off. Get it off. And he just reaches over and just gently let's the spider walk onto his hand and that's the photo I've taken and it's that moment 
and then he just lets the spider go and it's that moment of just absolute care for for this bitch not only this bitch but this tiny little spider that he could have easily just flicked off her shoulder it's that absolute care and love and compassion for everybody and everything that you know that Charlie and the Love Police used to stand for and that's what I that's why I subscribed to the Love Police and I was going to do a video today to say that um as a result of Charlie's video today I no longer want to associate myself with the Love Police but no I've decided that's incorrect I am the Love Police Australia I'm making my stand in the sand right now and Love Police Australia declare that 9-11 was indeed an inside job. We declare this proudly and there is nobody that can change our mind. The only way that could ever happen is by this. This is the manifesto of Little Monster. There's something heroic about the way my fans operate their cameras. So precisely, so intricately, and so proudly. Like kings writing the history of their people. It's their prolific nature that both creates and procures what will later be perceived as the kingdom. So, the real truth about Lady Gaga fans, my little monsters, lies in this sentence. They are the kings. They are the queens. They write the history of the kingdom. And I am something of a devoted jester. It is in the theory of perception that we have established our bond, or the lie, I should say for which we kill. We are nothing without our image, without our projection, without the spiritual hologram of who we perceive ourselves to be, or rather to become, in the future. When you're lonely, I'll be lonely too. And this is the fame. Lady Gaga. What you just saw in that Lady Gaga vi video is everything that Kathy O'Brien describes as MK Ultra mind control programming techniques. It makes me really scared to think that somebody could whisk me away 1984 styling, reprogram me Lady Gaga styling, and they could reprogram me to come out and say things like, 9-11 wasn't an inside job. Julia Gillard's not a liar. Did I just blink while I was saying that? Do you blink after you've been MK Ultra'd? And you would all hate me. Because you would think that was the real me. So I propose that we take back the love police and we make this all about love again and we love Charlie Veach despite his hatred, his anger, his whatever it is he's become we love Charlie Veach we love the police <laughs> we love the world I love you, Charlie Beach. My name is Linda. I'm from the Love Police Australia. And we declare that 9-11 was an inside job. As a sort of um, commemorative gesture, I guess, of the Love Police Australia's stand, um, I have one of these t-shirts to give away. I don't know how I'm going to give it away. I guess it'll be to the first person who says they want it. Um, and who's willing to give me their 
address <laughs> um, and I'll post it out to you but uh, this uh, shirt is actually in reference to a video by Anthony Lawson a wonderful Australian just a second I'll put the back up I had I had this t-shirt made up um, online uh, and I was sent two uh, really large t-shirts I thought it was very fitting because it states that I am indeed the love police I'm about love and as A. Lawson 9-11 says when it comes to 9-11 and the information that your government is giving you this is an apple 